Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and in today's video, I am going to be getting ready for basically nothing. I want this look to be kind of like a natural toasty makeup but I'm not really sure how this is gonna turn out so so before we get on to the makeup I just want to talk about some of the jewelry pieces that I am wearing today I have partnered up with Ana Luisa to show you guys some jewelry pieces that they offer on their site first I want to show you guys these pearl earrings these are called small organic pearl earrings and they're just simple pearl earrings so they're really perfect for daily use I think wearing these earrings with maybe a blouse or maybe a dress would make you look so elegant next I am wearing these and they are called Anna Silver this is really thin so it makes it a great daily piece and you can also layer this Ooh, I think this will look so pretty when you layer with other pieces but also wearing it alone would really go well with any outfit that you have on and I love how it's like so simple that literally you can pair it with anything and it'll not overpower the outfit that you're wearing finally I'm so excited to show you guys this I was so so excited to get these in the mail I have this bracelet on it's like a silver chain bracelet with a little cross on it this is a collab with Michelle Choi the youtuber and I love her videos so that's why I was so excited to get these for this one I love how this isn't as simple as their other jewelries but also at the same time you can literally pair this with anything maybe like a black top and some distressed denim shorts I think it would look so good and yeah I'm so excited to pair all of these jewelry pieces in the summer when I can finally go out except for the earrings I purposely chose silver pieces because I feel like silver looks the best on me but they do have gold jewelries on their site as well for those warm tones out there what I love about Anna Luisa is that all their jewelries are so simple and minimalistic so for the price these earrings were $99 and the necklace was $49 and the bracelet was $115 and their prices range from $39 to higher end pieces also Mother's Day is coming up and they're having a Mother's Day sale so really go check them out and get your mom some cool jewelry pieces now let's get on to the makeup first I'm going to start off with primer and I'm using the makeup forever step one skin equalizer base eclat radiant primer it's actually my first time using this and the color is like a mustard yellow what why is it so yellow So these days my head has been hurting and I really don't know why I get so worried because I'm like oh my god do I have corona but I do think it's because I'm like really close to my period date I'm gonna use the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Water Foundation in 12 and Fair Neutral It's kind of like one of those headaches that are like really annoying because it's slight you know it's kind of like there all day also i've been feeling so ugly because i haven't been putting on makeup to go out literally all i put makeup for is youtube or instagram and then i just take it off right after because i have nowhere to go and when i'm just home i don't really like having on makeup next i'm using the milk makeup flex concealer in cream and i'm just going to apply that underneath my eyes I've been more into like western style makeup if you guys know me I always change in between like Asian or western style makeup also I've been watching so many K dramas these days if you guys have any recommendations please leave them down below like it's okay if it's old as long as it's not cringy the dramas that came out like maybe five years ago or even more than that they're so cringy to watch especially boys over flowers I used to love that drama but now it's like so cringy I can't even watch it Yimino also came out with a new drama with King Gon from Goblin and it's called The King I thought it was like really fun but it's like getting really boring and I still watch it because I have nothing else to do anyways but I don't feel like they're a good match like looks wise i'm not saying any one of them are like less better looking than the other but like i don't know just when i look at them they don't look like a couple to me and i don't know how the storyline is gonna go i don't even know like it, the whole drama is like so confusing right now so i just watch it because i love yumino okay today i'm going to bake my face and usually i don't do that but Today's a special day. Today is a boring day, so I'm going to bake. I'm using the Huda Beauty baking powder in Cupcake. I also tried baking yesterday and I realized how much powder 
you actually need for baking like you need so much powder i mean i only bake when i really want to and i'm like bored i don't feel like there's like a difference and i feel like it makes my face drier but this powder is really soft so this is a really good powder while my face is baking, I'm going to be doing my brows. Today I am using the Benefit 24 hour brow setter. It's my first time using this. Ooh. Wait, actually, it didn't even make a difference. I'm turning 21 in maybe like two weeks. My birthday is May 15. I never even imagined my 21st birthday to be like this. And I feel like there were so many birthdays during quarantine. Like, I actually feel so bad. I feel bad for myself too. Because I was like planning my birthday. Like, I was like, oh, I'm gonna invite this person. Like, I was so excited. Oh my god, this actually looks so scary. Look at my brows. <laughs> they look so hairless. I am going to be drawing like little hair. This kind of looks like Jessica's brows, like a whack version of it. I love how Jessica does her brows and I wish I can have brows like that, but I saw her brow routine and it practiced, but it just doesn't turn out like that. Now I'm gonna use the Benefit Highbrow Pencil to highlight my brows. Just gonna apply that on the highest point and blend it out. And I feel like this doesn't make much of a difference but i just wanted to do that now i'm going to wipe away the powder oh my god it feels so soft <gasps> it feels so soft for the nose contour i'm gonna use the fenty beauty cheeks out cream bronzer in butter biscuit they sent me this and the cream blushes because it's their new collection i actually used this yesterday and i love it i'm not really into cream products but i don't know why i like this just something about it i really love i also love the color as well i think while i'm at it i'm just going to contour my face I'm gonna get onto the Fenty Beauty Snap Shadows in True Neutrals. I'm going to use the shade Simmer Down. It's like a shimmery rose gold shade. And I'm also gonna apply that on the lower lash line. And then I'm gonna take this Common Get It shade. It's like a warm matte brown. And I'm gonna apply that on the outer corner to give it some depth. Oh my god, I completely forgot I was talking about dramas. I've been watching Romance, something about a book. Romance is a book. It's a Netflix series with Lee Jong Seok and it's okay like i finished it today honestly it's not like a oh my god like i would wait for this to come out so i can watch it it's more like a i'm just bored so i'm gonna watch it it's basically about like a book publishing company and at first like everyone's mean to this one girl everyone at the end becomes friends i just like the happy ending i like the process of all the characters becoming closer so that's why I like this drama. Like all the basic ones, like Itaewon class and um, what's the name? Wow, I forgot the name of the drama. Yeah, I forgot, but the one about the North Korea. Yeah, I watched that and I loved it. That was like my favorite drama. Like I was obsessed with Hyunbin. I'm using the Lily by Red 9 to 9 gel eyeliner in matte brown i think for the eyeshadow this is gonna be it i'm not gonna do anything else to it i'm gonna use the mac queen new york waterproof pen eyeliner in deep brown
I'm gonna take this Affogato shade, which is like a dark matte brown shade. I'm just going to smudge out the liner to make it more soft. So I just applied lashes off camera. I don't know why this lash looks longer than the other. Anyways, I'm going to apply mascara to my bottom lashes. And I'm using the Fenty Beauty Volume Lift and Curl Mascara in full frontal. <gasps> so big. I'm using the Fenty Beauty Cream Blush in Petal Popping. Actually, should I use an orange color? I'm gonna try this. Fuego flush color Now I'm gonna go back to petal popping color And I'm gonna apply a little bronzer as well for that tanned look And then using the same brown matte eyeliner, I'm going to draw little freckles. And I've been loving freckles again, and I think it's because it's like almost summer. I'm loving this like sun-kissed look. And then with a brown liquid eyeliner, I'm going to draw more prominent freckles. Now I'm going to apply the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Highlighter in Hustla Baby. I'm gonna use the Morphe Lip Liner in Bay. And then on top of that, I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty Fenty Glow Gloss Balm. So I just wore this hat because my hair still wasn't dried. It takes forever for my hair to dry because it's so damaged. You guys can get this hat from MeMindBrand.com. I will link it down below. And don't forget to check out Ana Luisa for their really cute jewelry. And I will link down their website down below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Guess it's better than some funky socks She need to get her some skip before she gets the monkey box She wanna hear the beatbox Take pills and make fake krill the sheep rock Sing it, bring it back to your laboratory While he's in his oratory, glorious like a horror story